Yeah, no. <laughs> Lions and buffalo. And this is the last buffalo we've got left. Uh, uh, there's no more buffalo in the park now. This is our last one. So two of the big five. Last elephant on the entrance. So, <laughs> so how many will it take to take the buffalo down? Uh, there's a, this pride consists of the three males and the females. So with the three males or the girls? Uh, I'm sure the males, right. three females, they won't be able to kill a buffalo. So I'm sure the males did, did most of the work. No, what do you think of three swings? Yeah? Three swings and three swings. Yeah. So they, they cooperated because all of them were here, but the three females on their own, they won't be able to, to kill a buffalo. They were here at the right time. <laughs> so yeah, lions are aggressive feeders. Yeah. Even the cubs, they're the ones that are actually growling at each other. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when they're feeding, you'll be able to hear them from a distance. Like if you're tracking them down and they've got a kid, you'll just hear this sound before you even approach them. It's a good thing because they've killed something as big as a buffalo. If this was like an impala or a kudu, the males would have just eaten everything without sharing. But now they realize that there's more than enough meat for everyone, so they let even the cubs eat. Other than that, if their pride is not successful in to killing something big enough for everyone, then the cubs are likely to fall victims and end up dying from starvation, which is the main cause of death and then they have to rest and try and lose some heat and then eat again and then rest. Look at this one just sleeping on top of the skull there. <laughs> also the other one. Yeah. Oh yeah. 